I that's just, the problem. The, yeah, these people, yeah, people care. You can't care. care. I know you can't. You can't. So true. Um, you know who does care about a lot of things, and I do feel bad for her, Shannon. Oh, Shannon Bedore. Uh, can you believe this? I can't believe she's been with that guy for three years. What was his name? His last name's like Jansen. John Jansen. John, John Jansen. Jansen. Oh, John. Um, listen, Johnny you Jansen. know, she's spinning a narrative out there. It's a little bit of a narrative that she was blindsided and a little bit of a narrative that he was a fame whore. I mean, she keeps like regurgitating. He waited till after the season. I don't know. Like we have Louis Reelias. He loves being on the cover of People magazine. He loves being in the spotlight. I don't think John Jansen was like a fame whore. I mean, he would be with you still if he was into the cameras, right? I mean, the show isn't over for Shannon. I mean, she might get fired after the season, but she's not yet, right? She's pressed to do. She's going to be coming to New York. Like, so if he really wanted the, the fame, you wouldn't break up with Shannon. She's not off that. You'd wait till the day she got fired from the show and then you'd break up with her. So I don't think he was there for the cameras. I mean, again, Louis Reelias, you see him. That's somebody that likes the cameras. So I don't know. I mean, I don't see what John did so wrong. Like if you're with someone and you know that they're not the right person, isn't it? Aren't you really doing them a favor to just well, say? Couldn't John have used her for other things? I mean, you know, Shannon's been in the OC for a long time, probably very well connected um, business wise behind the scenes. Um, you know, I mean, John could have used her for contacts and other things locally. Like, I don't think, I think you're right. I don't think it was about the fame, but I mean, I do think he very well could have used her. And Vicky said, you know, he's a narcissist. I mean, so maybe the TV was just like another part of it. I don't Vicky know. feels, Vicky feels totally vindicated. She's like, this is just what happened to me with Steve, like misery loves company. You know, look, maybe this will bring shit. Look, I mean, but Shannon was on Jeff Lewis and she was literally in tears. Like, I really do. I know. It was sad. I think it was very sad. Yeah. Like, she could barely speak. Like, so, I mean, look, I don't wish nastiness. Like, I don't wish sadness on anything. I really don't. People think I, I hate Teresa. I wish, I hope, I hope it works between Teresa and Louie. And I think it is gonna. I think they're both choose. Wow. Well, I think they're both like, he wants fame. And so does she. Is, right. Yeah. And she wants money and he has money and, and she was alone in the does world he? and he doesn't have money, but he has like enough to like, so she feels like protected and not alone. No, I think that one day we're going to be reading about him too. I, I, I do. I'm being honest. So I think he seemingly had, I think he's up to something. I do. I mean, I could say the same about the Gorgas as well. You um, could say the same about PK and Drew. I just, I, I, yeah, there's very, well, I think. Like, you know? know how to, you know, like you're, you're looking for apartments in Beverly Hills. I mean, you know how much things cost. Our audience knows how much things cost. If you live in Los Angeles for a beat, if you live in outside of New York City for a beat, you know, if you own a huge home or whatever, I mean, it's just, that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, that's, then you've got your insurance, you've got your taxes, you've got everything else. You've got your own personal insurance again. I mean, you know, you know, it's a lot. You have to be bringing in a shit ton of money to live as big as some of these people. Like I think Sutton, Sutton Strack has real money. Kyle Richards has real money. Lisa Vanderpump, real money. Like who else? Let's go down the list. Like there's very few else that I can just. Yeah, I mean, Bethany Tins said that. Bethany, Bethany real, money. real money. Now. Tinsley Mortimer, real money. Um, Who else? Who Sonia else? Mo well, we know Sonia's bro. Sonia Morgan does not have a dollar for a cup of coffee. Yeah, not even a cup of coffee, I don't think. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm being honest. I know. No, no, no. She doesn't. Um, I don't even I don't even count Ramona. Everyone's like Ramona so rich. Ramona owns a Hamptons house. But Which she's is owned for how many years? I'm not saying years. Ramona to the average American is starving to death. The house is probably worth like eight, nine million. So fine. If you sell a house for $9 million and there's no mortgage on it, which I'm not even sure, then yeah, $9 million is actually enough to never have to work again. She wants to give it to Avery. So apparently if that's not for sale, she had another apartment, which she sold back in the day for like four something. Yeah. It's really scary. I know people's finances 
okay, was there a mortgage on that? You sell a $4 million apartment with a $2 million mortgage. You have $2 million. You pay your real estate broker. She wasn't a broker then. You pay everyone. It's not that much money. You end up with $1.1 million. I know it's a lot of money, but not in New York when you're in Palm Beach and you could blow through it really quickly. That's not money. So just, you know, like, like you said, there's, there's one, one decision to live a big life. You could blow through money really oh, like quickly. Oh, like in a, in a, look, I mean, here in LA, you can't even, if you want to live on the West side, if you don't want to live in the Valley, I mean, you can't even buy squat for a million dollars. Let me tell you something. I went and looked on the West Giddy. side in Brentwood, in Westwood. You know what? Uh, Love- amazing. Yeah. You know what? But it's, it's. it's- too far, suburb. girl. Too it's far. Suburb. I know. I sure. was like, no. Right. And then I found something in Beverly Hills, which if this were my full, look, it's not even like the Beverly Hills building was nicer. It was, there's luxury services that were, but I'm going to, I found a place I'm going to settle on. And it's like a full service build. It's, it's like, you know what they do? What I love, they pipe in the smell. You know, have you ever been like in a hotel or like a yes. show you walk? Yes. It's a pipe. I even said to them when I went to the, like the office afterwards, I was like, they're like, no, you're not imagining it. This is the name of the scent. We pipe it in. I'm like, oh man. No, it was like a five-star hotel. Like it was, I, I found something I'm very happy with, which is, you know, with, with within my means, even that I'm like, God, do I really need another fucking apartment? I have two other houses that I own, but like, I mean, here I am, I, you want me in LA. So between you and John and everyone else. And I, mean, Adler, you know, you know? I mean, honey, yes. Um, but you don't have any children to give it to. You know what I mean? You're not like, I don't know who, I mean, I guess, are you going to leave it to your microphone? I mean, what, you know, I don't know what you're going to do with. I mean, and I also live in my means. I have days where I'm like, you know, listen, like lately I'm a little, listen, I get disgusted with myself. I get a little disgusted with myself. Um, Days where I like, I'm like, stop David. But you know, I've been on a little terror. I'll be honest with you ever since I left the Hamptons and went back to New York, you know, I've been a little bit out of control with some purchases, but I'm still living below my means. So I I've said this before. I don't like people that live above their means. It's just, it's, I'm not judging. It's just, then you find out they're doing all sorts of illegal things. And it's like, why? Um, I wanted to go back two seconds to Shannon Bedore's really? ex, John. Do we think he was really out on a date or do we think that was just a friend? You know, somebody snapped him at a restaurant that he frequented I with saw that. Shannon with another woman. The woman's face is blurred out. I mean, it could be any, it could be anybody. It did. They were not embraced. They were not kissing. I mean, it looked like a nice dinner. They were in seated in a booth next to each other. So maybe I don't know that you would do that with you know, I mean, maybe it was his sister. I don't know. But do we think, I mean, a lot of people think he, he was seeing somebody else and he's already moved on. And of course that lends itself to Vicky's whole theory, which is, you know, he was a scumbag from the start. I mean, yeah. I mean, listen, I, how can I put this? I don't really view seeing someone else as the ultimate negative. Like, I think there are so many situations where you can be with someone and it's not, you just know, you just know this isn't forever. And you just meet someone else. Like you're not trying, you just physically meet someone and you have a connection and you also want to tear off their clothes and throw them down. So, I mean, then you start developing feelings for this. Like it was never really intended. Sometimes there is a little bit of overlap and, Yeah, maybe you should say, well, I can't come home and like suck your dick tonight because I'm still with this person. I should really end it there first. But I don't know. I mean, he's not with her anymore. So it's, I mean, we're making a lot of assumptions. Couldn't he have met this person on like Hinge or Bumble like the next day? I I don't know. They were spotted at the very famous The Quiet Woman, which is like a- Well, that's the weird, right. That's also the weird thing. What are you doing at The Quiet Woman? Like, do you want to see Shannon? Like, what are you doing there, dude? And I mean, they do look fairly close in the booth Um, and it's a blonde that, you know, I mean, Shannon's a blonde. I mean, it is kind of weird, but to your point, if they weren't together, doesn't matter. But poor Shannon, I, you know, you want her to find love and um, it's too bad that I going. Yeah. I want her to find love. I want her to find love. Um, Look, I don't want to say anything mean. I don't want to say anything mean, but- I mean, here's my thing. Like, 
if I meet you and I'm going to date you, listen, when something goes wrong in the world, like you get sick, your mother gets sick, like, of course you are there for the person you're dating. But if I were to meet someone and it was just a lot of yeah, 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 like nagging and, and it's nothing that's not sexist against women because have you met a bunch of gay guys trying to date each other? This is all genders and all races and all binary and trans and everything. If I met someone, no matter what your background is, and you were like a nag, it's like a little bit of a negative Nelly. And I couldn't date that. It's just, it's not right. So even though I don't know Shannon from a viewer, it does appear that she's a little bit of that on the TV. And so I gotcha. No, I don't know if that would be the right thing for me to date. So, well, I mean, it's like Vicki Gunvalson is like uh, amazing on television, but can you imagine dating Vicki? I mean, no. Vicky, Vicky is a control freak of all control. Freak. I mean, can you imagine being like, no, no wonder. I mean, I'm sure Steve was like up at night, like meeting somebody else. Like, how do I get out of this? Like, yeah. I mean, no offense to Vicky, but I mean, I think, and I think women like that, they get far ahead in life because they don't, you know, they know what they want. They don't settle. They don't put up with anybody in their way. All those things are good and grand. It's just, they don't work as someone who is married and been with my husband for 10 10 years, there's a level of compromise for, a, you know, there just is. And I don't like guys like that either. Like whatever, it has nothing to do with women. It's just, yeah, I mean, I would think just me, like a Vicky or a Shannon is probably not the easiest human being to date, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, no, I would think no, absolutely. That's not. just, I'm trying to think of someone on the housewives that would be easy to date, not those two, I would have to get back to you on who it comes to the top of my head. You know, Tinsley is probably somewhat easy. Oh to my date. God. Yes. I love her. Like, I mean, she wants to get married. She'd want a ring on the second date, but other than that, she's probably easy. I mean, wow. Leah, you would think Leah, but Leah's got a lot of issues there where she needs to work out. So Leah would be fun, but she's also like a total head case. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try to find, I mean, but listen, I, I feel for Shannon when she was crying, I felt bad. And I would like her to find somebody that just really wants her. I mean, I guess the, the, the thing, the hardest thing is like, when it's such a surprise, you go over like, were there signs? Like, you know what I'm saying? So like yeah. Shannon saying she was blindsided, no one has spoken to John, like what's Sean's side of it? He could say, yeah, not true. really. Like I, Gave her tons of heads up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. And you're I'm right. not taking sides. Love my Shannon. Yeah, I could do without Shannon on the OC. I think, you know, let's let's see how this next season goes. Anything else you want to talk about before we love love each other and leave each other? No, I feel like we covered a lot. We covered a lot. Recent episodes. We've covered a lot. Of- um, I think we're good. Sarah. David. It, life can't continue.